Hey guys, so you're about to watch my unboxing of the iPhone 12 Pro Max that I've had for about two weeks now. Uh, if you've seen enough unboxings by now, I totally get it, but maybe just consider jumping down to the timestamp that I have listed down below, uh, where I kind of give you my insight and my experience living with the iPhone 12 Pro Max during this quarantine time period. Uh, but without further ado, here it is. on the Series 3, moving on to the Series 6, uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max, previously from the iPhone 12 Pro uh, Max, so not too big of a jump there. Uh, got the R silicone case, uh, MagSafe wireless charger, as well as the Solo Loop, being super careful if you're buying the Super Loop, su Solo Loop online. Uh, we'll have two separate videos for two separate uh, products. Uh, so depending on which one you're watching, it's going to be the same little intro, so just look at it over here if you want to see the unboxing um, and kind of the first impressions of the other video, depending on which one you're watching again. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to get these things open, we'll just get this over with. The unboxings aren't going to be that uh, crazy, you've probably seen it a million times already, uh, but you're just going to see this Apple fanboy just wig out. And if you're ready, I'm just going to get started. Oh gosh, okay, all right. Uh, so let's get right on into it. Um, I am so excited. So uh, it's really hard to select which iPhone you want this year. You've probably seen a million unboxings and you still just don't know which one you want. Um, so there's four different sizes. I don't know how many different colors. And I've always been a uh, stainless steel black or uh, matte black or they've space gray they call it all sorts of things I've, now it's called graphite um, I do have this deeper in skin so I, unfortunately I don't want to take it off and I don't uh, so I won't be able to show you um, but it is uh, the matte black on the back but now they do call it graphite um, looks literally identical uh, which is still beautiful um, but for the first time and I think uh, ever um, I am going to try and let go of the space gray color. Um, so my original iPhone 3GS, I think it was, uh, way back when, was originally white. Um, but in the early or late 2000s, whenever it was, you know, the white was like, it was a little too modern, I guess. So I just went with the black. Um, but now the whites are, especially with the stainless steel trimming, they look like modern. They, they look like science fiction, really. Um, they look like jewelry. Uh, so I'm, this is the, the white. Um, it, you really can't tell the iPhones apart by the box. They all have like this bluish um, tint to them, which is, I guess it's, to, you know, Let's all bow down to Pacific Blue, which I got to see in hand. It was very nice. Um, so if you can't decide, book an appointment at your Apple store. Um, hopefully there's one near you. Um, you could just book a consultation. So even if you do have to wait, if your color is not in stock, it's probably worth it. Um, I did. I, I was totally set on the white um, either way, but I did not know about the size. Um, I'm like, do I go smaller? I'm spending a lot more time at home. Do I need this big giant thing? Um, I, I've seen a couple of videos already. The thing is even bigger. Um, but it really doesn't feel that big, especially because of the, the little boxy design. So we'll open it up together um, because I really want to get this thing open. Um, I've had it for like six hours. It's been very tough. Um, typically, I get it. I open it in the parking lot and, and I, I do the thing. But, um, we're gonna open this together. 
All right, so let's get this off here. Oh my God. You know, I've opened a lot of Apple things and there's just something about the iPhone plastic. It just sounds so much better. Oh my God. So the box is obviously smaller. And, I mean, it's hefty for uh, a company that's trying to save the world um, by reducing package sizing. You know, it's not just any ordinary box, but that's just maybe because I'm a little crazy and I already got it dirty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So it's definitely like a piece of jewelry. I mean, it's white, it's silver. Um, as far as jewelry, I mean, like I don't really own it, but I do love Tiffany's jewelry. Oh my God. So I think this is the first time where the, the cover isn't clear. Um, Cause I won't lie, I've been that person who uses the, uh, <laughs> the cover that comes on the iPhone as a temporary uh, screen protector. Uh, but we'll set that right there to the side. And then we have the charging uh, cable which is USB-C to lightning, um, no charging brick. Um, that's okay, we will make do. Designed by Avalon, California. Uh, we will need this SIM ejector, uh, a small piece of paper, which at this point, I don't think we need any more paper. Uh, everything's digital. Uh, again, cutting down costs, we have the one Apple sticker that'll find a nice little home. Um, and that's it. Nothing else in there. Uh, and then literally nothing underneath. So any extra cushion um, is just protection as it travels around the world, I suppose. Um, quick little size comparison. So I did get to feel it in the store, which is lovely. Um, again, book a consultation. Um, if you're unsure, even if they don't have it in stock, go ahead and just wait for the color that you want or the size that you want. Uh, speaking of sizes, very similar. Oh my God, I can't wait. So originally when I went for the D brand uh, skin here, I already started like planning, anticipating what would a white iPhone look like. Um, and the answer is it's, it's very nice. The time has come. Do you guys think it's gonna just turn on just like uh, the MacBooks? You just poop and little Apple logo comes on? Let's find out. No, fail. But how cool would that have been if you just went boop and you get the little white glowing apple just like you do on the MacBooks. Hello. So I don't think it's necessary to go through the entire setup uh, together. If you've seen one unboxing, you sort of seen them all. Um, it's really you kind of watch all these videos for the impression. Um, and my impression is, oh my God, it is so pretty. Um, yeah, we hear about the fingerprints, but there's just some things just so elegant about this white. I don't know if I'm gonna miss the, the space black graphite, stainless steel black, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but this is definitely, oh my God, it's, it's just, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty, which is why I upgraded. Typically, I don't upgrade it every year. I don't. I don't. I'm not that crazy. Just a little crazy, but not that crazy. Typically, I update every two years. So this is the first time that I can remember, which I think it is, the first time that there's not an S edition. Um, so you know, there's three GS, four, four S, and I'm only had one S in this whole entire lifespan. So my phones, I do keep my phones for two years typically, but there was something about this boxy design that I just, I, I just, I couldn't resist. So as far as features, um, yeah, sure. It is 
more of an S uh, year. So the show must go on as they say. Moving on to the iPhone 12 Pro Max silicone case for MagSafe. Okay, pull it up here. This honestly feels like better than Christmas. Actually, I had a really good Christmas last year. That's a lie. But, other than that, nothing else. Got one sheet of paper again. Is the paper really necessary? Save the world, Apple. Just find this information online. Ooh. I'm sure it's recyclable plastic. My phone. And that's it, it's pretty, pretty hollow inside. And so, I do love orange. It's just popping on in there. Again, <laughs> it's just so pretty, I don't wanna put it in a case. But, I will. Ooh. So, let's do that again, I made a little sound. So, one thing that I noticed with Mac OS Big Sur, which just dropped uh, yesterday, or the day before, um, it didn't actually upload for me until yesterday, but it dropped the day before, there's a lot of issues if you upgraded um, right away. But, it's upgraded now. Um, there's all these funky little sounds, um, and that was one of them. Well, not this sound was one of them, but similarly, all these random sounds. So when I put this into the case, oh my God, and it knows that it's orange, I don't know how, but um, it does and it did. And the iPhone's not set up yet, so that's all we get, but you just get the little boop. No, oh, that's cool. Moving on, MagSafe charger. Zip. So obviously no um, brick adapter here either. $39.99. Oh my god. <laughs> For literally the smallest product, you get the most paper. Three pam three pamphlets. The company's trying to save the earth, which I'm all for. Why do you need three pamphlets for a charger? Three. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. And, oh my God. So it already feels a little hefty, which is cool. Cause I mean, it's gonna have to, if it's gonna hold this phone up. It's, I mean, the phone is hefty on its own. And I don't think there's a, a elegant way, eloquent? elegant way of doing this without ripping it open. So we will. Yeah, it's like a, a fun little tuck size. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it is USB-C if you did not know. Um, no charging block um, comes with it and it doesn't come with your iPhone either. Um, so if you do need a USB-C charging brick, um, that's a little more affordable than the Apple one. I do have one. Yeah, it's a hefty little puck. Um, my iMac here, you could plug it behind your iMac, but I do have an older iMac. Uh, several videos on an old iMac and how to make it work for you. Um, follow me on YouTube um, if you wanna know more. But, so we won't actually, mm, be right back. All right, so a little bit of a desk change set up here to get this uh, USB-C adapter to charge the iPhone. Um, I was probably gonna use it here anyway, so not too big of a deal, but uh, yeah, Apple, that's kind of one of the, the consequences of not including one of those adapters uh, in the boxes. I have literally nowhere to plug this into, um, aside from my computer, luckily. So we will do that. And this is probably where I'm gonna use this uh, charging brick, any, or, you know, adapter, MagSafe charger anyway. Um, so that way I could still use my phone, still be in class. Um, and you couldn't really plug a USB-A um, adapter into your uh, MacBook because there's no USB-A adapter anyway. 
uh, and use your phone while you're in class or just charge it while you're in class. Um, if you did get one of the smaller iPhones or if you do end up getting one of the smaller iPhones, the battery life is not as well um, or as good. So you might want to charge it mid, uh, midway through your day. And uh, this guy might not need it, but uh, just to check out what happens. Again, the phone has not been set up yet and trust me, the urge is there, but let's just give it a little poop. So it is sliding down. Okay, I found it. So it, I thought it was, especially based on the, the views that I've seen, it just kind of like finds its way there. Not the case, you kind of have to uh, help it along its way. Okay, I found it. And then you hear the little hockey puck charging. Okay. And a little further on the MagSafe charger itself, it's an aluminum um, band, so surrounding. So it's not stainless steel, it looks really shiny like stainless steel, um, but I do have a full stainless steel um, charging block for the uh, Apple Watch. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it's in the upper right hand corner. Um, and that that's genuine the stainless steel, just like the iPhones and the watches. Um, this is more of the, the brushed aluminum um, that you would get on some of the other iPhone models or the aluminum Apple Watch. All right, so just starting to run in through the setup process for this new iPhone. Um, now I'm starting to get a little bit skeptical on whether we need to eject the old SIM card um, and add it to a, a, a new uh, iPhone if you do require 5G. Um, I think it requires two completely different SIM cards. Um, so I'm going to start running through the setup process and we'll find out if I do need to swap them out or not. Um, I do use Verizon, so it also probably depends on your carrier. But if you are a Verizon person and you did choose a, a Verizon iPhone, um, it's still unlocked per se, um, but it should flow a little more naturally with your carrier. Um, but yeah, we're going to find out together. And in addition to that 5G cost, if you did select a carrier during that checkout process, uh, I know Verizon tried to slap on an upgrade fee uh, because I did not choose the, the SIM-less free version of the iPhone. Uh, I did call them up and, you know, kind of explained and, you know, I chose Verizon. I've been a customer a long time and they did knock that off. So it's definitely worth a try um, to avoid that $40 penalty. Um, I know it's different based on your carrier, but it's really not necessary, especially if you've been a customer with your care for such a long time. Uh, they usually do sign on um, promotions for new customers. Why shouldn't they treat their current customers with just as much care, if not more? So one of the things I did not do right away this year when getting my iPhone uh, was getting a screen protector right away. I did get a case from the Apple store and that's fine. Uh, but I did not want to splurge another $30, $40, $50 on a tempered glass uh, screen protector that was just going to break within six months, sometimes even less, uh, for that kind of price. I've had a lot of good luck uh, having these uh, screen protectors from Amazon and they come normally in bundles um, of either three, two, this particular one was a three. I did have to wait a couple days for it to arrive uh, so I was just a little careful uh, not to get my screen scratched because they are more susceptible to scratches due to that uh, diamond shield that they now have uh, it prevents cracking but I guess it does not prevent scratches uh, but I'll leave this link down below it did take a couple days for it to arrive but super easy to install um, it has little adhesive tapes to kind of get it right into place as well as this little frame um, so you really can't screw it up uh, which is sort of the reason why I would always actually get it done at the Apple store because I was afraid I was going to screw it up. But with this uh, shield case from Amazon, you really can't. And then the other little piece of tech that um, you really need everywhere you go, especially if you're going to rock this guy without a case, is a microfiber cloth. And so we have all know that the stainless steel rimming gets a lot of fingerprints, super easy, um, and iPads and everything like that. Uh, so I really love these also from Amazon. It's a nice little pack um, up for under $10. It gets the fingerprints right off, does not scratch your screen, uh, keeps your stainless steel edging um, looking just as shiny as when it came out of the box um, and then uh, that shine is usually gone because you have to hold your phone um, not just look at it but yeah I'll leave these linked down below they've always been a lifesaver for all of my tech um, and it just works so fast 
And then lastly, back to this MagSafe charger. Uh, so currently in my bedroom, I just have a wireless G charger from Amazon Basics. And I do find that my iPhone doesn't really latch onto it like my old one did. Um, so it does not really get a full charge overnight. Uh, maybe it's, you know, it's really more dependent with the MagSafe uh, technology to get it locked in there. I didn't really have an issue with my old iPhone 11 Pro Max, but it is uh, seeming to happen. But the battery life, luckily, uh, is great. It does not die overnight. I usually just charge my phone right here at my desk while I'm in class or something like that. Uh, so battery has not been an issue, but it's definitely something to watch out for if you are using a third-party charger uh, to charge wirelessly. It, you really need to make sure you get it in the right spot, more so than the older versions, I think. Uh, but yeah, that was something that I've noticed. Um, luckily, no dead batteries in the morning yet, though. Thank you guys so much for watching the entirety of this video. And as you could see, I have had an assortment of different iPhones over the last decade or so. Uh, and this new iPhone 12 Pro Max is probably my favorite. Uh, not exactly sure if it's the return of this box of design, the larger display, or maybe it's this new white silver color that I've never actually had before, but I definitely love it. Uh, you could call me a fanboy, you could call me a sucker. Honestly, you could call me whatever you want, as long as you hit that like button down below. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel, because uh, I like to drop content like this pretty regularly. Uh, so until one of those times, I'll see ya.